Hi guys, it's Melissa with Melissa Peterson Designs. I am working on one of my projects today. Um, I'm working on some faux shiplap. This is kind of weird. Um, sorry about that. So I thought I'd show you how I did this. Um, before we get done, I'll show you the other wall that I've completed already. Um, I think it was last week, if you haven't seen it already, and that way I can kind of see what it looks like. Um, I've been wanting something like this and I knew Meryl would not be happy with putting up um, those boards, you know, um, the other version of faux shiplap or whatever. I knew he wouldn't go for that because he didn't want an idea of tearing up the wall with extra nails or whatever or even gluing them on or however he put them on. And I actually waited on my other wall for Meryl to be gone to work before I started and I got about a third way up. And I had to stop because I ran out of time. and. Um, I thought we'll see if he uh, notices and of course at night nothing the next day I finished the wall he actually liked it I was surprised so I'm gonna go ahead and do this side I'll show you how I did it so that way if you guys uh, want to try it you can oh let me grab my ruler so basically all I'm gonna use is uh, I like frog tape I've got my acrylic ruler I like this ruler I've got a little artist paintbrush I'm gonna fall over and I'm actually using sample paint that I got from Sherwin Williams. I think it was last year and it's navel. It's like a really dark blue. That's what I'm using for my uh, pinstripes. So that's paint I had on hand. It's dark and I'll go ahead and get started. If you have any questions, just let me know. And let me see here. I uh, was expecting to be running out of tape by now because um, I got started and I thought I only had enough to get a four, uh, a few rows up and I got farther than I thought I was going to. So basically, <clears throat> these are approximately six inches apart is how I'm doing this. So I am using my ruler. I'm kind of lining it up. It's not exact. And I'm just using these to mark my, my uh, initial lines. I'm also using this to kind of guide where I've been, where I'm going to kind of just check to see how I'm doing. There we go. So those are my marked areas. I try and keep them um, towards the edge of the wall because my house is not level. So, hi Lori, hi Jan. So um, this is just kind of like an illusion. So then I'll use one stripe of paint, one stripe of paint, one stripe of tape. Now if you try and do this on a wall that's you know clear across, you'll have to probably get a little more creative and do more markings. So I've got that area done and I'll go clear over here to this area. And then I'll burnish it down because that'll be my top row of tape. Then I'll do my bottom row. So I think if you just kind of stick to the same pattern, you'll be okay whether you do it my way or do it your way. Okay. And then this one I do a little bit differently for the bottom row. Hey Steph, how you doing? So, and here, I put this on a little bit more slowly because this will kind of dictate how far your pinstripes or how wide your pinstripes will be. And I got this idea to do this on my wall from Tammy, of um, Tammy Neff from Tammy Love. I saw her doing this on her wall by her fireplace a couple weeks ago. And I actually have two boards I've, I've done this on before for my backboards when I take pictures. So um, I thought, what a great idea to do for my walls. I just have to wait for Meryl to be out of the house so I could try it. I don't like how that's going up.
Okay, so when I go to paint, I don't want paint leaking onto this wall at all because more than likely I'll have a nice big blob of paint and I'll look messy. So when I do this last piece of tape, I'm actually taping part of this wall too. And I'm going to do the same thing over here around this decorative piece. And when I get past this decorative piece where I've got plain wall, I'll go ahead and do the tape just on the edge of the wall because I don't want the paint going to the other side of the wall over here. So I'll probably put a little bit of tape just along here to protect this part of the wall. So that's how I taped that up. That's how I got all those. I started from the bottom and worked my way up, doing the same thing all the way up. And um, I'm gonna wait and probably get more tape before I keep going on up. Cause I'm getting to the point where I am running out. I've got a wet rag handy. I like using um, cloth diapers for my crafting. They're lint free. And this is regular latex Sherwin-Williams paint. Um, I think this is not eggshell. Um, what's the next one above? I forgot. I'm drawing a blank. Because this wall is eggshell, eider white. The baseboards are eider white, but it's semi gloss. That's what this is. And if you want a clean line and you don't want to risk any um, bleeds, because I'll have a little bit of bleeds because I'm just using my fingers. You can go back over these and actually paint your base color over this to kind of help get a more crisp clean line. But I'm okay with having a little bit of bleed through because it looks more rustic. And I kind of stick with the smaller paintbrush so that way I kind of stay neater. Because if I get a bigger paintbrush, I'm going to start filling in paint and have a big mess because I know how I can get. And I'll do one line and I go ahead and pull the tape before that paint completely dries. That way if I have any, I have too many bleeds, I can kind of clean them up with that uh, wet rag. And I'm only going to do one coat. any questions let me know and these are all six inches apart I wanted to kind of I didn't want four inches because I thought that was be would be too too much and I liked how the six inches apart looked And that is it. That's how I did it. All the way up my wall. Um, I have maybe a small little bump here. I'm okay with that. Um, a small little bump there. That's not too bad, but if I need wanted to clean it up, I just go through, grab a little corner, and just go up to it and just kind of wipe along the side, along the line. And I had one bleed through on the other wall where I kind of got a little crazy cleaning up and I actually erased the whole line. I let it dry and I just come back up and taped over it and overlap these lines and then just repainted it and you can't even tell. So that's how I did that. And I'll show you really quickly how my other wall looked. So that is that pinstripe. And I'll just work my way down and paint those. I'll have to run some errands. I'll go get some more tape and then I'll finish up the rest of the wall. Let me see here. There we go. So excuse my mess. 
But if you haven't seen my other wall that was completed, this is my first wall. Excuse my mess. So, and the top row, the very top row, I got up there to do that. And um, if I actually finished out the six inches, I would have had a line up there, maybe like an inch down below the ceiling. So I just left it blank. And from down here, it you can't even tell it's it's a little bit larger than six inches. Not 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 unless until now I just told you. So I like that. So and I'm surprised that Meryl liked that. And I was debating on the bay windows. I asked my daughter and I had a friend over yesterday and I asked her too and she's like, nope, nope, don't do that. So I think I'm gonna leave the bay window bare like that. And then have each wall kind of you know the pinstripes or the ship lap on each side so that's how I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna flip you around so hopefully you don't get dizzy excuse my mess again so and this is my prayer wall I'm getting ready for that I had some uh, areas I had to fix so I'm planning on painting this a dark color and doing like a wash over it and then I think I'm gonna put like a mural up there with some flowers and probably put you know the Psalms 91 11 the back up there in a like a sign format but I'm gonna paint it on the wall with a stencil so I'll have to figure that one out so I think that's it so and don't forget I have the May challenge I have um, names in the jars so that's where I'm collecting the names so the winner on May 20th the gifty on May 29th is gonna get one jar of their own eight ounce uh, jar of Dixie Bell paint and um, you'll get to pick your color and I will make sure and order it from one of my retailers here in Iowa and I'll have them ship it to you. So hope you guys have a great Friday. Um, if you got any questions about this, let me know. Um, these are all exactly six inches apart, but they're close enough. So got any questions about that, let me know and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.